Hello, this is Daniel Place. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. Now in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to install Zero's minimap and Zero's world map. They are great map mods for Fabric and Forge, but in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to install both of those mods for Forge for Minecraft 1.16.3. Now of course, before we get started, if you're into videos like these about shader packs, texture packs, mods and stuff like that, and tutorials like these, then of course, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. I would sincerely appreciate that. Without further ado, let's install Zero's minimap and Zero's world map for Minecraft version 1.16.3. So like I said, in this video, we're going to be using Forge, but if you want to do this for Fabric and don't know how to do that, then be sure to let me know down below in the comments and I might make a video on how to do this with Fabric as well. So to get started, what you're going to want to do is open up your browser or use the links down in the description. I put every link that I use in this video down in the description so you don't have to look anything up yourself. So we're going to start off by actually downloading and installing Forge. So what you're going to want to do is either use the link down in the description or do a quick Google search for Forge Mod Loader. You want to look for this one that says Minecraft Forge. Go over here. Then the first page is going to be Microphone for 15.2. That's not the one we need. You want to come over here into this left menu where it says 1.16. You click that once and then there's 1.60.3 and you got to click that. Now, as you can see, the version has changed to 1.16.3, which is exactly what we need. Now, all you got to do is click installer right here. We're going to be redirected to an ad page where we have to wait five seconds. And then after those five seconds, you can click skip and Forge will be downloaded. Now, it is a .jar file. So on some browsers, you actually have to select keep here because, you know, .jar files can potentially contain malware, but not if you use the links that I put in the description. So the Forge installer is now here in my downloads folder. I can actually click it and um, this installer will pop up. Now for some people, this doesn't work and the file does not have this Java icon. So what you're gonna wanna do in that case is open up a new tab or once again, use the link down in the description. But what you're gonna wanna look for is actually jar fix, which is a program that fixes that for you. So you're gonna wanna use this link right here and then once you're there, you're actually going to click this, this link right here where it says jarfix.exe. You click that, it's going to download jarfix. And what you're going to want to do is just click that. Then something is going to pop up and you have to click yes. And then after that, it will let you know that the .jarfix has successfully been registered. And now if you come back to your downloads folder and refresh it, you should be able to click this file and now the installer should actually open. So make sure you select install client and apart from that, there's nothing else you need to do but just click OK. So there we go, successfully installed Forge. From here on, it's actually fairly easy. All we got to do now is add the mods, but we can't do that just yet. So what you're going to want to do is actually open up Minecraft. Make sure you select the Forge profile in the bottom here. If it's not there, what you're going to want to do is go over to installations create a new profile and um, you name it whatever you like under version. That's the important bit. You need to select release 1.16.3 Forge just like that and then click create. Now this new Daniel Place profile does have Forge as you can see here. What you're going to want to do is click play. So as you can see, we've actually successfully installed Forge for Minecraft 1.16.3. Now let's get to downloading the mods and then installing them into Minecraft. So to do that, once again, use the links down in the description or just do a quick Google search for Zero's minimap 1.16. That will usually give you the Curse Forge page, this one right here. So once you're on this page, this mod page, what you're going to want to do is click files right here. This is important because there's two versions a forge and a fabric version and the fabric version will not work, of course, because we're using forge. So the top one here, coincidentally, is the forge one. So we can just download this one. But sometimes they'll be switched where the fabric one is the default one and the forge one is not. So just to be sure you need to download the forge version. And now this is a .jar file again. So just click keep. So now that we've actually downloaded Zero's minimap, we're also going to be downloading Zero's world map. So once again, you can use the link down in the description or actually do a quick Google search once again, where the top result is usually the correct one. So once you're over on this page, once again, what you're going to want to do is go over to files and then look for the one that says Forge 1.16.3 again. So just like that, you can click download here, wait five seconds, and then your download should start automatically. Once again, it is a .jar file, so once again, we have to click keep. Now, I'm actually going to drag these to my desktop to make things easier. So now that we've got the mods on our desktop, you don't have to put them on your desktop, but it's just going to make it very easy. So what you're going to do is click mods right here. And then in the bottom left here, there's a button called open mods folder. Just click that. 
This will open the mods folder and it should be empty by default if you've never installed Zero's minimap before or never installed Forge before. Now all you've got to do is actually drag these in here and restart Minecraft. So I actually just closed Minecraft and launched it again and now if we go to mods it should say that we also have Zero's minimap now and Zero's world map. So we're actually in a single player world right now and as you can see in the top left corner we have the minimap and if we use buttons like B we can actually create a new waypoint like spawn and we can give it a color. So let's make it dark red and look at that we actually have a waypoint right there that we can also see on the minimap. So this is really cool. You can also see mobs on the minimap. As you can see, those are the little yellow dots. And then we also have Zyra's world map. So what you're gonna wanna do to open that is actually click M. And as you can see, this is almost like Google Maps, but for Minecraft. And as you can see, well, we can just zoom in. We can see our waypoints. This is really great. And these mods are really, really useful. So I hope this video helped you out in installing Zyra's minimap and Zyra's world map for Minecraft 1.16.3. If this video actually did help you out, then of course, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, which I believe you do, then of course, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. And without further ado, as always, I will of course, catch you in the next one. See ya!